All right, we are here. I am with Catherine Morgan. I'm really happy to be uh, talking with you this morning about SobCon and, you know, everything. So how are you today? I'm doing great. It's so fun to see your face. We have to video more often. We do. It's great. Like, I mean, this is, you know, we always say, oh, it's not about the tools, and it isn't, but this is kind of cool because it works and brings us together, right? Absolutely. And I'm just retweeting so everybody can come and join us. Absolutely, that's right. Yeah, so we've uh, I've already had one hangout this morning with uh, Phil, Phil Gerbacek, which was awesome. And you know, now I'm talking with you. This is my hangout day. Like I talk about Good Friday, it is a Good Friday because I'm doing tons of conversations today, which is Absolutely. great. Yeah. So well, now your day's all sunshiny because you had Phil. Does he have the best smile on the planet, or he what? He does. He does. He's just so enthusiastic too, right? Like, I mean, it's just it's like a huge breath of fresh air. What a great way to start the day having a conversation with him. Yeah. So now tell me, of course, we're we're talking SobCon, and I met you uh, where else but at SobCon. So I would love to hear your SobCon story. My SobCon story is kind of interesting. Um, I got to SobCon in sort of a roundabout way. I met Terry Starbucker on Twitter. And for those of you who may think that Twitter's a waste of time, I can assure you I have met the most wonderful people on Twitter. And the way you connect with people can be uh, about something totally random, completely unrelated to your business. In fact, those are sometimes the most fun conversations. As you know, uh, Terry Starbucker, St. Marie, um, is a big music fan, right? Yeah. So he used to play a game named The Song in My Head, and he'd give a little snippet of lyrics. And I'm really good at that sort of thing, because for some reason my entire brain is filled with song lyrics. <laughs> so we uh, we used to play that back and forth, and I put a YouTube link, and we sort of you know became friends. And that's I think actually the way I heard about SobCon was wow. when Terry went into promoting the event mode from the song in your head stuff. Um, I sort of I'm like, oh my god, look at that! What a great event! That's so, cool. Wow, yeah. that's a neat story. That is, I didn't realize that. You know, it's so interesting the way that people all of the different people that I'm talking to sort of have made their connections and you know SobCon has become part of their world it it's every story is so I haven't found one that's the same right because everybody's so unique which is awesome well and then there's a few more layers because obviously it's in Chicago and I'm yeah. Chicago based and uh, Carol Roth was going to be there and she had just finished launching her book that went to a number one bestseller and I met her at a bunch of events, so she was going to be there. This was two years ago. Right. Okay. And then, um, that was my first SobCon, and uh, yeah, obviously the amazing Liz Strauss was going to be there, Chris Brogan, and Michael Port, who's one of my heroes and mentors. And I'm like, right. oh my god, I get to meet Michael Port live? And then, <laughs> and then the thing that really got my attention is you can go to conferences and meet people, but when it's a, a multi-day conference and it's a small amount of people, the depth of the connection you get to make is pretty amazing. So I wasn't just going to be able to shake Chris Brogan's hand. I was going to be able to have a conversation with him. Right. I wasn't right. just going to be able to high-five or hug Michael and say, I love your work. I was going to be able to really talk to him. Right. And that, you know, that, that conference, because of the people I met and the way I was able to connect with them because it's so small and so intimate. Um, yeah, yeah, and I think that is a huge difference, right? Because uh, not only is it small and and um, intimate in that sense, but you know the the people who are presenting are also the people who are participating, right? And and that's quite a different experience than you know a lot of events that you go to where it's like you know they're there they say their thing and they're you know they're there for five minutes after and then they're gone right I mean that happens quite often where is this is it's so unique because really people are rolling up their sleeves you know both presenters and you know just attendees to really work on applying what they're learning and talking about to their business yes 
And that was one of the things that initially pulled me in when mm. I saw Michael Port posting about the fact that he was actually going to be there for three days as opposed to a fly-in, fly-out. Right. That got my attention. Yeah. Because he, yeah. he's a really busy man. And if he's mm -hmm. giving three days of his time to something, that, that must be pretty valuable. Absolutely, yeah. Now, so talking about your business, because obviously, I mean, Sobcon is, you know, it is this amazing community, but there clearly is the whole aspect of it that is about building your business. So uh, for people who don't know uh, about your business, can you tell a little bit about what your focus is and, and maybe how that has, how Sobcon has helped you? Yeah, it wasn't um, a natural link to my business to be at Sobcon, but it has been huge. Um, I am a career transition and entrepreneur coach. I work with people either getting them back into corporate or starting their own consulting or coaching practices. And the reason I do both is because of the industries I work with, professional services, financial services, technology, at the levels of people, director, VP, something like that, they're naturally evaluating both options if they're looking to make a change. Right, Volu voluntarily right. or involuntarily, they say, am I going back to corporate? Am I starting a consulting business? Or am I pitching project work while I'm looking for my next job? Or am right. I hoping that my business will take off while I'm opportunistically looking for other things? So while some people say, well, you have two niches, I really don't because the right people say, oh, that's me. And yes. you, know, yeah, you can, you can sure. fill your practice with those people. So. That's what I do. Yeah, and so for you, I mean, it didn't necessarily seem like a completely direct connection to Sobcon, but clearly you have found, you know, some some great things from Sobcon, and it's helped you in a lot of ways. So, what are some huge. of those ways? Yeah. No, no, huge. It huge. Changed, okay. Huge. Yeah, huge. It changed the tra trajectory right. of of my business. Um, I got more into blogging. I've always been a strong writer, but. Um, when I started blogging, like every new blogger, you know, three people were reading my blog, and one yeah. of them was my mom. So, <laughs> yeah, I know, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So um, I met people and got to guest post on their blogs. Barry Mulch right. was kind enough to let me do a guest post on his blog. Carol Roth, kind enough to let me do a guest post on her blog. Um, and I subsequently, I don't know if you know this, became community manager for Carol Ross Blog. Yes, yes I understand that. Yeah, that's, so, that's excellent. You know, that is very, you know, it's a little bit of a shift, but plugging me into the entrepreneur community is obviously a great thing given the kind of business I have. For and, sure. And Carol's people, a lot of them are consultants, so it's that's, you know, been good for my business. Um, another great thing that came out of Sobcon for me, and I wouldn't, tell anybody to go there for this, but it might be a, a result. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten some great clients from yes, it. Yes, of course. So, I mean, um, yeah, you know, that's, you're, that's you're a wonderful three, side effect, <laughs> right? <laughs> I know, but you spent three days meeting with these people and, and getting your hands into their business in a mm -hmm. very nice way, not an invasive way, but in a helpful, mm -hmm. serving sort of way. And then if there are ways that you can then continue that conversation and become a client, um, you know, three Sobcon attendees that you know and have been on your show are right. clients of mine. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that's not, you know, it's not one of those meet and greets where you're doing the, the ninja card throwing thing. Hey, call me, call me. You know, right. No, 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 no. It's yeah. not at all like that. Yeah, I mean, it is quite different. I, I know for me, uh, my experience has been that I've formed a number of different sort of collaborative relationships and, and you know, business opportunities and, and different things with, you know, a variety of people who are there and, you know, supporting one another and, um, you know, looking at different ways that we can potentially uh, do work together, you know, for clients collaboratively and things like that. So you just really never know what's going to happen or where it's going to go or how it's going to impact your business. You know, one thing I'd like to add that I think is very, very different about mm -hmm. Sobcon and a huge plus in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Carol Roth, uh, did the intros last year, and she brought me up to the front of the room. She's like, "Hey, Catherine, what would you tell you know people?" And I said, "Sit with people you don't know. Make yes. sure don't don't hang out in your little crowd. Why? Because people tend everybody, even the really famous people, uh, check your egos at the door. 
we're yeah. all the we're all the same. And I almost did better at my first SobCon when I didn't know who was famous because I'm like, no, you really have to do this with your business, blah blah blah. And then, and I'm like, I think this could work out really well for you. I was very excited and very engaged because business strategy is like popcorn for me. I can't yeah. stop once I start. Yeah. And, and later on, I found out who these people were, and I'm like doing the the face palm, <laughs> saying, oh my gosh, what was I? What was I doing, a crazy maniac, telling this woman who used to run, you know, a multi-billion dollar division of a big company what to do with right. this stuff? Right, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, that's, I think that that's just, I don't know, that's the amazingness of it, right? And I would totally agree with you that it, it you know, well, it naturally we're often, the comfort zone is to stay sitting with people that we know. Um, the most amazing things I think can come from meeting new people and expanding your horizons. And I think lots of us who have been there, you know, multiple times have experienced that in different ways. So, I mean, this is my fourth SobCon coming up basically in two years. I've been flipping back and forth between Portland and Chicago. I haven't gotten to, to Portland to yet. To maximize the experience, <laughs> you know. You got, so. you got to hang out with one of my dearest favorite people in Portland. You got to hang out with Chris young who I adore. Yes, I did. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, I mean, that was awesome. That was his first SobCon coming, uh, you know, too. And, and it was it was great, right? And I think that's the thing is that especially for people who haven't been there, I know I know what it was like for me to walk in the room and to get to the place of, of going. Like it, you know, I, I mean, everyone has a story and it, it, it took a bit for me to get myself into that room, right? And mm -hmm. so it... It, you know, it's really neat then when you see other people that you think, wow, they could really benefit or what they're doing with their business, you know, would would just bloom and blossom in a SobCon environment. So I, I always want to bring everyone that I love to SobCon, you know, if they're working on neat stuff. It's great. Well, you have to be, um, I always joke with Terry, I'm like, how do you weed out the jerks? You know, I think the, I think the people who are actively involved with it. I think the copy they use for it, I think the types of topics they cover naturally weed out the jerks. There just aren't going to be very many there. They're heart-centered, deep, incredibly smart people. Very in the room. much so, and, yeah. and it's so intoxicating to be there in that room with all these great minds coming from a place of service and giving. Yes. It, it really is such an amazing experience. I can't, it, it's hard to put words around it, but if you don't like hugs, like Chris Young says, he doesn't like business hugs, but too bad. He got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think the thing is that there is, a, it's interesting because Phil and I were talking this morning a little bit about the whole, you know, introvert, extrovert kind of situation and you know how we're all so different and I definitely think that SobCon attracts you know both kinds of people but there's almost I don't know it's, it there seems to be I find a bit more of a depth or understanding that people in that room seem to uh, want to go the extra mile to understand more about how other people think and process information and um, it just you know I know at my table last year in in uh, Chicago, we, you know, I had this amazing conversation, you know, with uh, Molly Canfield Craig and um, Nigel Cameron, and we just talked a lot about that kind of stuff. And it, you know, it's kind of enlightening in a lot of ways because you spend so much time being busy and just doing things that it, it's really good to stop and recognize the way that you know, other you're interacting with other people and then how that can relate to your business and you know, it's very interesting. It is really interesting. And you know, big businesses do this all the time and maybe as smaller businesses we need to make it a best practice. For sure. Getting outside opinions. People in other businesses, people in other industries, people uh, in corporate they're going to look at your business and while you're seeing this, yes. they see this. And something that you think is really difficult and an insurmountable problem, they may be able to just add one little piece that changes your whole business. And I had uh, the first SobCon some giant breakthroughs like that. Yeah, just me, like, me really? too. How, how yeah. did I not think of that? But you don't because you're well, you're you in it, yourself. right? Yeah, that's it. You're so in it. And in fact, my 
my first experience was in Portland, um, and I went there. I, I I actually had new business cards made, and you know, I like I was all in this space of okay, I'm really together. And I went there, handed out my business cards, and by the time I was done, because I stayed in um, with the same uh, group of people for most of the time, and boy, did they ever give me really frank feedback. You know, it was it was just like by the time I left there, I was, you know what, I had misalignments going on in my vision and what my words were versus what I was actually talking about, and I was I was all over the place. And you know what, they told me right away, but in a way that was, like it didn't shut me down, you know, and, and that's... It, it was very constructive, and and the really amazing thing was uh, Marty Constant, who is in. Oh, Chicago. she's awesome! She, she is, is awesome. awesome. So and, smart. Yeah, so smart. And she was one of the people that uh, was at the table um, with me at, in Portland. And you know what? We actually did this whole accountability buddy thing, where for literally uh, every week for the next year. We hung out with each other in a in a Skype or a Sobcon and said, "Okay, what are you working on?" What and we just continuously pushed forward on things that we had agreed on at that Sobcon for a year. We did that, wow. which is pretty. She's my next conversation today, so it's going to be cool oh, to kind of reflect on that. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah, so it's that kind of thing, you know, and in in a way that is, I don't know. It's I mean, it it, it just it opens your mind. It really does. It does, and you can have totally random things happen at SobCon. For example, my gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Look at that! I that know, which beautiful. I somehow didn't fa fasten properly. But um, from the wonderful Diane Broken, who I know oh, you know, I, love. I do. That's right. That is lovely. Diane Brogan is just the most amazing artist and uh, jewelry maker, and wow, she is just special. She's very dear to my heart. <laughs> I know she is a wonderful lady. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it just, you know, it like comes through perfectly. It just looks wonderful. <laughs> I have three of them. Wow. All different colors. You you, you won't, wouldn't believe the combination she comes up with. Big plug for Diane. Yeah, you betcha. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I saw her uh, and, of course, Steve Brogan when I was at uh, NMX in um, January, I guess, actually. They hosted me in Vegas. It was my first big trip to Vegas, and it was just lovely to spend time with them. They're just dear, dear people and lovely friends. So, well, and There's another difference, Jane. How many times do you walk away from a conference with with best friends? It's like true. People, people that you that you truly love and care about deeply in yeah. two days. I think yeah. the, the depth of the connection that's made, and even more so, you know, your, your first one, you start this connection, and then if over a year you've kept in touch with them or worked with them in whatever capacity, either accountability, like you said, or co-working, um, yeah, on some. Uh, or as clients, and then you come back the next year, the, then you, you're here and it's deep and it's rich, and then you get really deep. Yes, yeah, and awesome things can come from stuff like that, right, which is so cool. That is just, it's so neat. I, I've loved hearing your story and, you know, just learning more about about kind of what you've been working on and some of the opportunities that have happened for you. Um, if if there's someone that's watching this or comes across the video and you know they're kind of fence sitting or feeling a little bit nervous, maybe intimidated by you know like you said, sort of even the caliber of some of the people that are there, um, what do you what do you say to them? I say uh, this will be kind of like a mind spa, isn't it? You go there, <laughs> yeah, and and your mind just gets cleaned out and buffed and fresh. It'll be, if you are, and this term is overused, but in this particular case it truly applies, if you are a heart-centered entrepreneur, whether you're in corporate or have your own business, these are your people, come yes. with us, come join. Just jump. Just just take, take the two feet off the cliff and jump, and it'll yeah. be the best thing you did for yourself this year. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You give me goosebumps. <laughs> it's, it, it's, yeah. it's from the heart. I mean, it is. these these people are the most amazing people I have ever met. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. So, wow! What a great way to end our our talk. 
thanks so much for letting Thank me chat you so with you, much. Jane. Yeah, I sure appreciate it, and I will see you very soon, right? Not too Absolutely. long. Absolutely. Sounds good. All right, well, Bye. take care. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.